is hi, big fat. Hello, it's me. Um, Nachi Yum Yum, and this is my first video I'm uploading to YouTube. I'm really excited because I've been meaning to upload some videos to YouTube. Um, basically, I'm, I'm just talking about stuff. And this week has been really, really crazy and chaotic for me. And then I'm like out now, but I, I thought, like, I said to myself last week, this Friday, I was going to upload my first video. And I am. And the first thing I want to talk about is something very near and dear to my heart, aka Project Runway. Finally, last night was the season premiere of season six, and we've been waiting for season six for like ever because the whole fight with like Lifetime, it's gonna be on Lifetime, it's gonna be on Bravo, it's on Lifetime, and they it's still as fabulous as it was before. It really truly is. There's like nothing bad about it, and there's nothing good about it. The only thing I didn't like is the fact that the red carpet challenge was the first challenge off the bat, but. You know, that's like, instead of doing something crazy, let's see what they can actually do when they have to make a red carpet dress, which, as a designer or something like that, can make or break you, if we're being totally serious. But before the season premiere came on, there was the All-Star Challenge, in which Kato, I was rooting for her because I thought she should have run her actual season of Project Monday because I think she's just a brilliant designer and everything she makes is stuff that personally I would really want to buy and like I really think she's never seen anything ugly down the runway even when they had that grocery store challenge her dress was gorgeous and the fact she's fresh produce like to make it like as an, as an accessory to the paper she used for the um, dress I thought it was perfect it was gorgeous it was different and you know I thought it was really pretty, and I think she should have won her season. I think she should have won last night. But instead, Daniel Vaskovich won. He's a cutie, but I didn't like anything he sent down the wrong way. I was like, it's really ugly and tacky. And then I was like, Kato's going to win it, because like, it got down to the last, you know, it's Kato. It really is Kato. And I was like, oh, Chris, and then I heard Daniel, and I'm like, what? No! <laughs> <laughs> like I was like sobbing <laughs> and I'm sorry but that's how I feel about that and yeah, I really I would really have liked to see her win but you know she didn't and that's done so next thing up is the new season of Way in which there's Louise Black who I'm rooting for because ever since I saw one of her items on Etsy I was looking up steampunk for a project and there was a feature one featured um one of her items was featured in the article about steampunk through etsy and i flew into her page i looked at her stuff I was like, this is gorgeous this is like the stuff i love making it's the same detail and she's into the same sort of things as i am and i'm like oh, i want her to win she's so cool and so i'm like kind of sitting there rooting for her but you know she she got sick she passed through and i'm like okay i really liked the dress Christopher made that last night. I was in love with it. I saw it, I was like, that is so like something I would make. <laughs> because I like to use the ruffles as, an, like, I like to use ruffles as sort of a petticoat um, when I make clothes for my younger sisters and stuff. And when I make, just when I design, because I am always sketching, like I said, I sketch all the time, I sketch, sketch, sketch. And I love using ruffles, and I love how like the top is like very textured and different looking. And there's the ruffles underneath it, and it's like, that would be perfect for the VMAs. If I was a cute, skinny little singer going to the VMAs, I would still wear that. <laughs> but I'm not. And you don't want to hear me sing, and I'm not. Yeah, so I was really excited about that. I, I wish that Crystal wouldn't have made her dress so tacky, because she has the potential to be fabs. i seen her portfolio. That's available online at mylifetime.com. There's so many stuff, so much stuff that has been there that you can check out. So I went and I saw that and I was like, oh, she's really cute. I like it. And so she makes bigger lady clothes. But I'm like, oh, I'm all for that. So I liked it. I watched the show. Really excited about that. Um, I just wish she wasn't, she used more taste. I would have liked to see Ari stay instead of seeing, um, I think it was Mitchell, who survived because he had a pantyhose instant for his model and it's like you need to allow seam like you need to make sure you have the space in the dress my thing is this go bigger no matter what you're doing if you're making something you it i know i've done dresses i've made and i put on my friends 
or I've made dresses for younger sisters. And my rule is I always have extra. I always make it too big. I make it so I know it's too big. And that way when I have it on the person, I can actually fit it more into what it should be just for future reference. If anyone is out there and they like to do photo shoots, like if they're thinking about dressing up their friends and doing photo shoots, you know, make sure when you make it, you make it bigger just in case um, for that one reason. And, you know, I, I would have liked to see him go home because I was reading, I was watching his audition tape and he's colorblind and therefore he doesn't like to use colors in his um, designs. And it's like, that really, I like color. I think color is fine. I can't tell because I'm wearing black right now, but I do like colors. And um, I don't know, I think using all neutrals is kind of boring. Um, now that my project from my stuff is out of the way, I'm now going to move on to something very near and dear to my heart. I love the band from the Bazaar. I think they are fabulous. They are five very awesome boys from Germany who make music in their glam rock, pop, punk, happy, go lucky, dancing, dance music, fun band. And I think they're fabulous. And there's been a lot of drama regarding certain things about their new album and I would like to you know there's a leak of the album which is really sad and everything but it's done the news the CD's been released the leak happened like 48 hours before the CD was released the CD's now out it's released I'm still listening to the samples like I want my copy <laughs> my copy will not come in for another week or so because I ordered it from Germany and I can't wait I really want to listen to it when I get a copy of it I'm totally going to review it um, what I can talk about as far as music goes in reviewing is the band Tokyo Hotel is another group of pretty German boys. I love you, I love Gustav the most though, so he's like not the prettiest one, but he's definitely my favorite. Um, they released, I don't know if it was last week or this week, but they had their new song that came out, and there's a German version and an English version, and I've been listening to it. I'm you know, because I like, I, I kind of fell out of listening to Tokyo Hotel as much as I used to because I've been listening to them since they first came out in Germany. So it's like, I fell out of listening to them. I picked up this song and it's automatic, is the English. Um, I don't, it's automatic and I believe it's pronounced Anamik, Anamatish. I'm not 100% sure and my German is terrible. Um, so I'm going to say, I'm not sure about 100% yet, but, um, I like, I really like the song, I think it's a good song, but it doesn't sound like the Tokyo Hotel I'm used to, it's like, it's gone less rock and more, like, this electronic mixture, and it's it's a really good song, I'm like, super dancing, and it's like, I like it, it's a really good song, it's just, it's not what I'm used to, but I still, I'm thinking that, um, how people are comparing Cinema Bazaar to Tokyo Hotel, now it can be done with the music, because now it sounds... I know I'm going to get like a hundred bajillion if anyone actually watches this. Every comment's probably going to be like, they don't sound anything alike. But seriously, that new song, Automatic, sounds like a song that CB would put out. I mean, I'm not saying like they're copying them. I'm just saying that it sounds very similar to something you'd expect from Simon Bazaar and not Tokyo Hotel. So I'm really anxious to see what they go with the new album. I'm definitely going to go out and buy a copy. I'm probably going to buy two copies, the German copy and the American copy. If that's how they release it, if not, then I'll just probably buy one of the copies. But I'm probably going to go out and buy the copy of the CD still. So I'm definitely going to go buy it. Oh, I'm saying this. Yeah, I'm definitely going to go buy the CD because I think they're a great band. Um, I've got all these things I want to talk about. Um... Other than that, I basically have nothing else to say. I'm probably going to update this every week. If you like what I say, say something in my comments. If you don't like what I say, subscribe to my comments. Just, if you're watching it, I would like a comment. Just because I want to know what people think our vision continuous. This, um, I'm being encouraged to do this by some friends who are like, oh, you need to go do like these YouTube videos because you're all these that are so opinionated when it comes to music and when it comes to all these different things and stuff. And so you should go ahead and say something and I'm like okay sure and so last week I decided this week on Friday would be my first update and I will hopefully have more updates in the next few weeks and um yeah so thank you bye um yeah so bye bye